Hello everybody, Andrew Majeski here with Dental L. So it is now almost July, it's June the 30th. My practice has been open again after COVID for I'd say about three weeks now. I would say the beginning of June, right? So yeah, we are, we are, we are almost at a month. And so this is what's happening. So a lot of patients ask me, how is your business doing? Like, how do you find all of this PPE? Are you okay with all of this PPE? Are things a lot harder for you? Like what's going on? Um, st um, students asking me the same thing. Other dental hygiene professionals asking me the same thing because there are still a lot of dental hygienists out there that cannot work because if they work for a dental office that doesn't have enough PPE, you cannot work. If they don't have care for their children, because a lot of daycare centers aren't open at this time, I don't even know if any of them are, um, they can't work. So everybody's asking me these questions, so let me just kind of run through them a little bit. I am spending a lot more on PPE. For example, I just ordered more KN95 masks, $25 for like, a um, $25 each basically. Um, and there's not enough to order a lot of them. So I basically have to order like a three week supply at a time and go from there. $25 a mask, okay? Crazy. We need to buy things now like hair caps, face shields, which I just bought some more of, um, um, disposable gowns, where a gown used to be two to four dollars each, which is still a lot of money. Now they're upwards to 12 to 20 dollars each, depending on how high in demand they are. So I can only buy a certain amount at, at a time. And we do have to wear the gowns over top of our already pretty hot, pretty thick clothing. So that's a little bit harder. But other than PPE, a lot of things are staying the same. We are obviously still disinfecting everything. We are still sterilizing everything. That is nothing new. And I tell that to all of my patients also. I say, you know, we were very careful before. We had practiced universal standard precautions, meaning we treat everybody as if you're highly infectious because people don't always tell us everything, right? They might not tell us that they're highly infectious of something, or they might not even know. So that hasn't changed. Um, I did purchase an air purifier for my home office. I do still wait though three hours in between patients. I don't necessarily have to with the air purifier, but I feel it just makes patients feel more comfortable to wait that amount of time um, just to get all of those particles out in the air that might be there have net, like aren't there anymore after the air purifier. Um, plus it gives me time to take my notes to really make sure to disinfect, sterilize everything, which we had been before anyway, but that's just something that I'm currently doing to give patients kind of that peace of mind. I, I did purchase the no touch thermometer to be taking temperatures on my patients. I did also purchase the, the oximeter I hope I'm saying that properly, oximeter. That's that little clip that goes on the finger to measure your oxygen saturation level. So if you have COVID and don't necessarily know it yet, your oxygen saturation level will be a lot lower. So if I'm seeing a patient where it might say 80 and not 90 or 99, hmm, I might not treat them because hmm, let me take that again because if the number is too low, we cannot treat them because it could mean they have COVID. So that's just another extra test that I have been doing. And I feel like it makes my patients just more comfortable to know that I am doing everything to protect myself and protect them too, because they're not the only patient that I am seeing. I'm not seeing as many patients a day as I used to, just to allow for that extra time. But if I'm going to a patient's home, I'll typically see two households a day. The nice thing about going to patients' homes is it's almost, it is safer for them because they don't have to leave the house. They don't have to come into my office. I'm exposed to them, yes, but I'm fully protected. So I do feel very, very comfortable doing that. Um, what else, you guys? I'm probably missing something, but I can't think of anything at the time right now. Let me just say that I am hot when I'm seeing my patients with all the extra PPE, plus a long sleeve shirt underneath that's pretty toasty. 
oh, I do change my clothes at every single household now. So every household that I see, I have a new pair of clothes and I change before I leave their house also. So that's just another um, peace of mind thing and something that I do have to do. I do disinfect my you know, car, all of those surfaces that I'm touching, obviously lots of hand washing, hand sanitizer, things like that. So I'm sure I forgot something, you guys. Please comment below, let me know, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.